everyone, welcome back to another video. So I received a Christmas gift in the mail and I was so excited to receive this. Artex sent this to me, that was so super sweet of them. Thank you Artex for sending me this Christmas gift. I can't wait to see what's inside. So I thought it would be really fun to open this Christmas gift and film it so I could share it with all of you. So that's what we're gonna do in this video today. But y'all look how beautiful this packaging is. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Look at this gorgeous green bow. It's just so beautiful. And this gorgeous red box has a bunch of glitter on it. It's just so super pretty. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but it's beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. So let's see how this bow comes off of here. Oh, so that was pretty easy. I'm trying to open the knot here because I don't want to have to cut it because I love this bow. This packaging is so cool. Oh my goodness, the bow is attached to the package. <laughs> How neat is that? So let's see what we have in here. So I got a little Merry Christmas, Happy Chinese New Year from Artex. On the occasion of Christmas and Chinese New Year, Artex sends you a small gift and sincere blessings to express our gratitude. Thank you for your support and long-term cooperation with us. We look forward to strengthening our partnership in the future. Artex will work harder to continuously build better products, provide better service, and deliver a better customer experience. We wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Chinese New Year and wish you all the best. That is so super sweet. Now y'all, I just had to open this on camera because I just think that's super cool for them to send me this. I haven't gotten anything from another company. So, I don't know, I just thought it was really, really sweet. So let's see what is in here. Oh my gosh, this tape is so difficult. Y'all should have seen when they sent this to me. It was packaged so good, I had to fight with the tape to unpackage it, which is good because then we know that hopefully nothing is damaged in shipping. So let's see what's in here. Oh, how cute. Are these little Chinese teacups? Is that what these are? They are so pretty. Look at those. And they each have a different design on them. So here's the other one up closer. And then they have some Chinese writing down here on the bottom. Those are so super cool. I love them. Okay, y'all, so now we're getting to all the goodies. <laughs> we have to move all of this out of the way here. What is this? Travel paintbrush set. And then it has some instructions back here. It says the smell will dissipate after being used for some time. Please cap the brush after it dries out completely. Do not scratch the pen body, avoid sun exposure, and do not soak in water for a long time. So it just comes with this cute little case here. And then let's see how these work here. Oh, how cool is that? Look at these paint brushes. Okay, so there's the size of that one. They just go back like that and then go in this little case. Oh, how neat is that? And then the yellow one is the smaller brush, but they just go together like this. Of course, you need to wait for them to dry before you put them back, but that is super neat. It's a little travel paintbrush set, and then it just closes up like this. Oh, I love that. And then we have some metallic watercolor paint. Oh, how cool. Let's open these up so we could take a look at them. Let the light of the stars shine in your brushes. <laughs> I love their little sayings on their packaging. And then this must just fold open. Oh, how cool. So they're all metallic colors. I'll hold these a little closer so you could see them. I'll have to see if any of these are available on Amazon. And if they are, I'll put the links down in the description box below. Maybe I'll have to test them out. So after we unbox all of this stuff, I'm gonna test these out on some paper. Oh, and then we have their acrylic marker set. These are definitely available on Amazon. And if these are the ones I'm thinking they are, these are the ones that I have been wanting for a while. I think they've got a white set and a black set. If this is the white set, those are the ones I've been wanting for quite some time because I've been looking for another paint pen to see if there's anything other than Posca or to test some others out. 
acrylic markers. I'm pretty sure these are paint pens. It just says brush tip Artex acrylic markers. I think we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these and try them out because I've been wanting these for a really, really long time to use in my coloring books, but maybe we'll swatch them out so that y'all can see what the colors look like. But look at all these gorgeous colors that are in here. And it comes with this little swatch showing you exactly what colors are included. So the number that's on here doesn't look like it's on the marker. We're gonna take a closer look at these, but let me go ahead and move the box out of the way. And then what else is in here? We have some masking tape. So this is artist masking tape, it looks like. That is super, super cool because I never had any of this and I really needed some. So this is just masking tape for painting to put around the edges of your painting and then you just pull it up when you're done. So I went on Amazon and I did a little research on these and read some of the reviews on the listing and everything. And it seems like a lot of the reviews are for the black ones. And I think the ones with the black barrel are a little bit different than these with the white barrel. But from what I'm gathering, these are paint pens, just that they have a brush tip. On the listing, it does say that these are acrylic paint markers. They are water-based. And I know that the Posca pens are acrylic and water-based. So I think maybe, possibly, the difference is that these have a brush tip and you don't have to pump them like you would a Posca. But you can use pens like this in coloring books. I'm gonna try them out in my coloring books and see what I think. But I believe you can use these for things like rock painting and glass and things like that. And I actually saw in one of the reviews, somebody had painted some glass jars and it looked really super cute. So I think I might take my little mason jar here that I hold my coloring supplies in that I'm using when I'm working on a project. And I think I might try these and color this mason jar and maybe some of my other mason jars. But I think that would be super fun. But I'm definitely too gonna try them in a coloring book, but I really want to be able to swatch them out and see what they're like. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual marker first. So they do have the white barrel, but it seems like on the listing on Amazon, these have been put in the listing where it used to be the ones with the black barrel for some odd reason, because all of the reviews are for the ones with the black barrel. But all of the information that I gave you was from the actual listing, but they have the cap, which is of course the color of the ink that is going to come out of here. And then they have the brush tip, which is really super cool because you don't have to pump them or anything. You can just straight use them without having to sit there and pump and pump and pump like you do with something like a Posca pen. It just shows you that it has a brush tip and then it says Artix acrylic marker and then it has a couple cute little hearts here. They're really good about putting cute little things on their products. Like if you remember from the Artix pencils, they have a cute little design on them. Put all these little stars on them and it just adds a nice little touch. I really, really like that, but they're really pretty pencils. So let's go ahead and swatch these out and see what they look like because I want to also swatch out some of the metallic watercolor paint. So this is white. Of course, you're not really going to be able to see it, but these, oh my gosh, they write so nice. I'm going to see if I would be able to use this in place of a Posca. So this color is sort of like an off-white or a cream, but that's a really pretty color. It's a really creamy looking color. And then we have a couple yellows here. This is the third one in the set. Ooh, that's bright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that's actually brighter than my favorite yellow Posca. Okay, so let's try this one. That's really pretty too. I wonder if these come in more colors. I'm going to have to look it up and see. These are really nice. So let's see how well the colors are actually matching up. So of course, here's our white. Look how well the colors are matching up. This one matches up pretty good. This one's a little bit off. That one matches up pretty good. This is just a little bit darker. So if you don't want to swatch, that's a pretty good example, but it's definitely not exact. This one is super, super pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all know what? There are more colors underneath. Wow, I was thinking that this is it, but I bet if I lift this up, oh my goodness. <laughs> There's more colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all, am I out of it today or what? <laughs> because there's no numbers on them. I'm getting confused about which ones I've already swatched. I don't think I swatched this one. Yeah, it's a little bit different from that. Well, that's a pretty orange. Let's see what we have here next. And then we have red. Oh wow, that's a gorgeous, bright, vibrant red. And of course I just got it all over my hands. <laughs> now we are getting into our blues. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that blue. 
Here's another blue. Oh, super, super pretty. Oh, and then we get a really dark blue. Okay, so now we go to the next tray. I can't believe I didn't even realize that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all these other really pretty colors and we get a gold and a silver. <gasps> That's exciting. So here is a purple, our first purple. And then we have a lighter purple, like a lavender. That's super pretty. These go down really, really nice. And then a super dark purple. Now we have a tan. That's really pretty. It looks kind of like goldenrod that you would find like in your Prismacolor set. Really dark, dark yellow. That's super pretty. And then we have our browns. And then there is our other brown. So this one's just a little bit darker than this one. Oh, and now we have a really pretty lime green. Look how gorgeous that is. And a darker green. That's really pretty. Now we have another green. Wow, these are gorgeous. Definitely have the colors we need to color some leaves. Oh, here's our teal. Super, super pretty. We have a gold and a silver and a gray and a black left. So this is the gold. <gasps> oh, is that not swatching right? Oh, that one's laying down kind of strange. I think it just wasn't flowing right yet. I think it's okay now though. Now we have the silver. Gorgeous. Look at that silver. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it's Christmas time and I'm thinking about these on some Christmas ornaments on a coloring page. Those are so super pretty. Now that looks like it should be bronze. That does not look like a gray. Huh, that definitely looks like bronze. So maybe not, I don't see any uh, metallic in it. It doesn't have like a metallic sheen. These two definitely have a metallic sheen to them. And then here is the black. Okay, so those are all the colors we get here in the acrylic markers and I want to try out now these metallic watercolor paints and I'm going to check for y'all and see if these are available on Amazon. Okay so these are definitely available on Amazon and they're $32.99 and they have one day shipping on them and they actually right now have a 10% coupon off on them. I don't know if that will still be there when y'all are watching this video but we are going to try these out. They must be new because I'm looking at this and they only have two ratings on them so far. So with only two reviews, I'm assuming that it is a new product, but these are going to be a set that are intended for beginners. So it is more of a student grade set, but I bet the colors are beautiful. And this gives me a chance to pull out my Paul Rubin glitter watercolor paper, and I'm going to use this to test them out on here. The glitter is just beautiful on this paper. So I did grab my little travel paintbrush. These are super cool, and we're gonna try that out as well. So I don't have any water here, so I'm just gonna use my water brush to add a little bit of water into each one of these so that I can swatch them out and see what they look like. Oh my gosh, look at this blue. Oh my gosh, all of these colors are gorgeous. But we're gonna see what they look like when they lay down on the paper. I hope I have enough water here. I don't even know if this is enough or gonna be enough. I guess we'll find out soon enough. And if it's not, I'll have to go grab some water. But let's go ahead and try the purple first. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that color. <gasps> these are so pretty look at that so let's try this gorgeous orange color here oh wow I want to use these in my coloring books that is a gorgeous color too I want to get lots of color on my brush but this brush seems to be picking up the color rather well oh my goodness that's beautiful Y'all, I love metallics and glitter. <laughs> I just cannot get enough. <laughs> these are so fun. Oh my gosh, I have to use these in my coloring books. Okay, so y'all know that watch my videos that blues and greens are my favorites. So let's see what this blue looks like. This is a really pale metallic blue. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm so excited that Artex was so sweet and sent me this Christmas gift. This is the best ever. It's always nice to get surprise gifts in the mail. <laughs> so let's go back up here and go to the red. 
that's just a beautiful shade of red. Watercolors are so fun. I need to play with them a little bit more. I was doing a lot of playing with watercolors and really getting into them and then I just got so busy. But let's try this silver and see what this looks like. That's really pretty. That looks more like a dark gray though. Okay, just two more colors. We've got this gorgeous seafoam green here. This is beautiful. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh my gosh, all these colors are gorgeous. I just cannot get enough of these. Okay, so now I have the last green, which is another beautiful color. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, these are super pretty. Look at those colors. So I did look up these travel watercolor brushes and these are also on Amazon. Here's the little package for them, but it comes with the smaller one and then the bigger one. And when you're done using them, you just put them inside like this and then they go into the package. But those are really cool if you wanna take your watercolors with you. And this set here too, these metallic watercolors, these would be fantastic the way that they're packaged to be able to take these with you as well but if you wanted to play with watercolors in your coloring books you can just grab a set like this and then the travel watercolor brushes and put them in your bag with just one coloring book and that would be super easy to take along with you to be able to enjoy your hobby on the go but these are really nice. They are available on Amazon. They are $12.99. They are on one day shipping and they actually have a $3 coupon right now. Again, I'm not sure when I post this video if that $3 coupon will still be there. But I'm glad I was able to try everything in here out with y'all and film it because I got to end up testing all of these and swatching them all out for you and that was super fun because I would have done it whether I was filming it or not. And I know y'all are always interested in coloring supplies and what's available, but I think these would be super fun to try them out in a coloring book. I think these would be super fun to try out in a coloring book. The only thing I didn't try was the masking tape, but they were so sweet and sent me three of those as well. But I'll try those out soon enough. If y'all are interested in any of this, I will provide links down in the description box below. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring, bye. Thank you.